Tom. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell the, this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth shook and roared. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins in the sea town of Rogueport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town is a, as a very, um distinct flavor. Oh, Missy. Missy. Uh, do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well. Um. Oh. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map to show where the legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock in it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge as one touch of myself touches it. Oh! I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I'm sure that whatever is in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, all right. What's the harm? I'll try to open it. <gasps> Hello, everybody. and uh, Tom Fox here, and welcome to probably one of the most anticipated Let's Plays on my channel by you, the fans, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Alright, as you can see, I played this once, but that file is from a very long time ago. So we're just gonna jump into a new game here. And, uh... It's not gonna matter what we call the, the file name, because nobody ever... ever, uh... calls you that. So I'm just gonna call it... Uh... I think, uh, would've worked better for my Majora's Mask Let's Play. And where it would've been like, your name is... Uh... Like, everyone's too... Like, it's, a, like, it's really offensive in Hyrule, so nobody actually says his name. Or in Termina, anyway. Like, oh my god. But anywho, we show here on a on a front view of Mario's house. <gasps> Paracarry! Do we get to play with him now? Mail call. Oh, Paracarry. May the wind always be beneath your wings. Lovable blue paratroopa. Ah, Luigi! Not that way, Luigi. But Luigi. Luigi. Hey, bro, check it out. They laid it from Princess Peach right for you. I'll just read it for you. How's that sound? 
Ahem. Now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came to the possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It, it was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. Well, you know, it's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Oh. Mm-hmm. Bustling little places, isn't it? Yes. So we take off. The crayon-drawn sun in the sky and Paper Mario the thousand-year door approach it. Oh, we get a little... Uh, th 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 there's no way that is a... That is not a seafaring boat. That's for, like, a river or a lake. I'm sorry, but you cannot travel this boat across the seven seas. Please turn around and, and relinquish it immediately. That boat is for a river. Then again, I guess I've seen like... Oh, I have to press A to keep going. <laughs> I thought it would just pass on its own, but I guess not. Womp womp. Oh, how scandalous. Oh man, and here we are. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. Well then, let's see what kind of welcome these rogues give to us, shall we? Zoom in on the curtains. Excuse me, sir? Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Oh, uh, it's all blurry. Where are my glasses? Oh, there they are. It's still blurry! I guess... You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please, please prepare... Uh, duh, duh, duh. Please prepare to disembark. It seems the cat has got my tongue. Alright. As we fade to a black screen as it loads up... Hey! We got a save block. We got some toads and bob bombs and bob bombs with bones for, for uh, uh, key turns or whatever they're called. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just by a bit of rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on the way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you want to think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. I won't say I didn't warn you. And it just flips around, because it's paper. Ha ha! You know, this definitely, I'll say this, Super Paper Mario is probably the last game that held the, uh, the subtle paper thing. It's a little bit, it's a, it's a moor right here. Where's the mooring line? I, oh, I start off with a hammer too. But Super Paper Mario is the last one that kept the subtlety of the paper instead of Sticker Star, which just shoves it into your face. Oi, welcome to Rogueport, nasty, a uh, bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. Alright, let's jump up here and save block. If it, Basically, you uh, hit the block and you save. That's how it goes. And progress is saved. Neat! Let's talk to this toad here. What do you want, pal? Huh? A princess in pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I don't remember a princess, probably. What do you want this ch- Oh, uh, why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, your money or is she your girlfriend? Jeez, what a rough speaking- Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Well, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around this town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know, right now. Never! I, I have no- I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew! I suppose it wouldn't be right for if a sassy old lass like you met with an untimely demise. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Now, boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. N no! You stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream! Really? Oh, ha, ha. Out of the way, you scallywag! Move your ever-loving bones! 
<clears throat> like I'd go anywhere with you, smelly lo any with smelly lunatics like you. <laughs> Not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? His voice needs to be more dumb. Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumple bomb. Whoa! And suddenly I'm thrust into battle in the um in the uh the in protection of a rather cute uh Goomba girl. Battle time, Mr. Man! Just find a way to beat this freak in, of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details, just jump at him and hit him with your hammer. I wonder if this gives you the action commands this early on. Do I have any items? No items, okay. Uh, so, okay, yeah, you do. Okay, so, uh, the various action commands you got are, or you got, you basically have your various attacks. You got tactics, and you can defend to prevent, uh, any damage, uh, to reduce the amount of damage taken to you by one, or run away, but you can't run from this fight. Uh, items, if we had any items, we could use them. Items that do various things, such as attack, heal, uh, give status afflictions, things like that. Uh, the hammer, which is a basic attack, and the jump, which is a basic attack. I'll go into what those do as I'm doing them. Let's start off with the jump. So if I press A just before I hit the enemy, I'll do another jump. Sweet! You you know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Okay, so that was another action command. If I hit A right before uh, he's about to jump on me, I'll uh, defend. So basically, I'll take no damage from it whatsoever. Ooh, and what I just did there was a stylish command. Uh, we'll get into that later when we actually get to, to what we got. You've got him on the ropes! Keep wailing on him! Now I think, there you go. If you hit B in, at the right time, oh wow, it actually killed him. You did it, you did it, yes! And you got star points. Yeah, I bet I, I bet you know, but when you get these these uh, things called star points, you, when you win a battle, when you get 100 star points, you're, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? So I got nine star points from this. So basically what had happened there where he took damage, was that was called a super guard. If you hit B in a smaller time window than you can hit A, You'll actually deal uh, a damage to him. I think you take even more reduced damage. Buh, buh, buh. Okay, you got a you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But it's unfortunate for you. But uh, but unfortunately for you, that means it's go time. He sounds more depressed than dumb. Punish him. Speaking through his nose too much. I'm, I've got to develop Crumb's voice. I think at some point here. There we go. Nope. Where are we going? Quick, this way. I thought I'd have to battle my way through it. Phew! What a bunch of loons! Let's sneak out of here. What do you say? All right. I could, now I can walk. Now uh, this panel will come in handy later. I wonder if I can do anything to these guys. Nope. I guess I can't. All right. Uh, let's move on then. I guess I don't have the spin dash like I did in there. Boom! <laughs> Stop! Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Any, did anyone? Huh? Oh, crud. They bolted. Oh, crud. They bolted. Nope, that sounds more posh than anything. I'm trying to figure it out. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I just, I've got to give you a little reward. Oh, baby. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the un at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Oh, Mario? Wait, you mean like the famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just ruled the town by yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks ev and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know this place is called Rogueport, but I should have expected it. I, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Huh? What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko! What you got there? <gasps> oh my gosh! Is is that like a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach, what? Great hoogly boogly! If this isn't Master Mario! Oh my god, they're getting beaten up in the background. Woof. Stay down, bro. The boss sends his greetings. How's that road taste, punk? Bit of a coincidence, but begin. Oh, I, he said something else. That hurt. Those jerks. We won't forget this. Bit of 
of coincidence bumping into one an, another in this sort of place. Mm -hmm. Oh, so tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Oh, mm -hmm. ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you here with a letter and a treasure map, and she told you she'd meet you here in, in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped at this little town for a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? Only, I only took my offer for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. Oh! You know how headstrong she is, Mario? I assume she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her, surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and, it, and this is not it. I'll leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea. Perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your, your uh, HP hot point running low. Just drop by the inn. Ho oh, ho! Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all, your, all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Oh, I say. Oh, I say. Um, Princess Peach? Did she mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy! Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she where could she have gone then, do you think? Do you think maybe she got sick of waiting and we'll have to find the treasure on her own? Hmm. Oh, oh, I know, Mario, come with me! One of my professors uh, is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure map, then maybe we'll be able to catch up to Princess Peach. Great. We're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Bella joined your party. All right. We got here the first ability, the first instance of a, of a, a partner primer. Bella's ability is a primer. Press X to get information you need about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rogue Park Plaza. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossword where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you what, about where we are. That's Goomther, a Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Goomba can give you hints when she, uh, when she answers, so ask her for information often. And of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle too. She jumps in the air and attacks enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look up enemies' HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. Aw, a little wink there. Little wink, little nudge and all that. First off, we gotta find my professor. Thing is, since we just I just got to tell myself, um, I don't know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. Alright, and with that, we're gonna end things off here next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. We are going to, um... Go find Professor Frankly and see if we can find out where Princess Peach is. While I do my little dance here. Come on, Goombella, dance! This is Rogueport's main square. It's sort of like the central shopping area, I guess. There's lots of regulars, uh, regular working folk here, but there are also ne'er-do-wells. If you venture in the back alleys, be ready for to deal with some nasty sorts. Thank you, Goombella. Thank you.